Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at a theorem which states that the energy of a signal can be written as the sum of energy of the even component with the energy of the odd component. That is, given a signal in discrete time x of n, a signal in discrete time It has two components. The first one is the even component xc of n, which is equal to the even component of the signal. And then an odd component xo of n, which is the odd component of the signal. The definitions of the even and the odd components of the signal are xc of n is equal to x of n plus its reflection x of minus n over 2 and then x o of n the odd signal x o of n is equal to x of n minus x of minus n over 2 and by simply adding these two even and odd components x of n is equal to x c of n plus x o of n that is a signal can be split as an even component and an odd component so using this definition we want to prove that the energy of the signal that is summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x square of n can be written as the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x e square of n which is the energy of the even component plus the energy of the odd component x o square of n. So by using equation 1 in the left hand side we have the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x c of n plus x o of n that is the even component plus the odd component whole square. By using the expansion a plus b whole square we have the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus in x c square of n. Next the energy of the odd component which is n equal to minus infinity to the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity xo square of n that is the energy of the odd component and a cross term which is plus 2 times the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity xc of n and xo of n that is the product of the even component with the odd component. Now the third sum that is the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity xc of n into xo of n. And from a previous theorem, we learnt that the product of an odd signal with an even signal is always an odd signal. That is, the product xo of n with xc of n defined as p of n is always an odd signal. Therefore, this product is an odd signal. So, the sum becomes n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity the summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity p of n where p of n is an odd signal and in the previous theorem we learned that this sum is always going to be 0 that is the sum of an odd signal throughout the real line or in this case for all possible values of n the sum of the odd signal is 0 therefore the third term is clearly 0 that is the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x c of n into x o of n is 0. Therefore, the energy of the signal x of n that is in summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x square of n is equal to the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x e square of n that is the energy of the even component plus the energy of the odd component which is summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x o square of n. Thus the energy of a signal can be written as a sum of the energies of its even and odd components. Thanks for watching.